Welcome back to New York City, everyone. My name is Todd. I'm the founder of Outfit, and you're back for another one of our nine-minute core workouts. This is Brooklyn. He's going to be hanging out with me today, too. If this is your first time, welcome. Uh, we do this every week. We have two new workouts every Wednesday and every Saturday. So if you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, you're going to get notified, and it really helps us out because we're a small but growing channel. If this isn't your first time, welcome back. Either way, we're gonna be hopping in pretty fast. We have two quick things to talk about. First off, we're gonna talk about what a hollow body position is, because I'm gonna reference it a lot. And then second off, we're gonna talk about how it applies to the first movement, which is gonna be some pike raises, all right? So, we're gonna be starting less than 60 seconds. First things first, what's a hollow body position? Hollow body position is gonna be this. Most important detail is I'm gonna be thinking about keeping my lower back flat on the ground. So, laying down on the ground, Sorry, it's really cold. This mat's really cold in here today. Uh, laying flat on the ground. Legs are together. Toes are pointed away. Heels are together. Back is flat. Most important detail. So I don't want to have a gap in my back, but pulling that belly button down, down, down. Arms overhead. This is going to be my hollow body position. From here, our first movement, we're going to be doing some tuck raises. So I'm going to get set up in this hollow body position. Arms are now going to come down to my side. Toes forward. Toes to the ceiling. Toes forward, toes to the ceiling, and that's gonna be our first 60 seconds, all right? I hope that you're ready, we are going in. We are going in, okay, Wednesday. Uh, if you're watching this when it comes out, it's Saturday, happy Saturday. I think it's our first Saturday in the new year, maybe. Uh, we are going in three, going in two, one. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay, we got 60 seconds of pike raises. So, toes forward, toes to the ceiling, toes forward, toes to the ceiling. Notice that my lower back is coming up off the ground and I'm coming up onto my shoulders and I'm just not bringing my legs up and then forward and then up and then forward. I'm really getting up there, coming back down, getting up there, coming back down. If this is uh, not overly challenging, what you can try to do is instead of having your palms facing down, rotate, 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 get those palms facing the ceiling, up, and same movement. This is gonna cause you to use your arms and shoulders much less to stabilize, and so you're gonna be forced to use that core more. Okay, we're switching in 10 seconds. You're still working. Keep working. We got our tuck reach reach coming up. So still, hollow body to start. We're switching in three, two, one. Let's just do this hollow. Good, tuck up, reach, reach. Hollow, tuck, reach, reach. Hollow, tuck, reach, reach. Good, you get the idea. So, same thing though with those uh, pipe raises that we were just doing. I'm not just bringing my knees in and my arms to the side. Knees in, arms to the side, not it. Hollow body, I gotta balance on my tailbone. So you got a little balancing act going on here. And then you're gonna reach, reach, all right? 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. Here we go, hollow, tuck, reach, reach. Hollow, tuck. Reach, reach, good. Keep going, you got about 15 more seconds till we switch. We're gonna be switching into some mountain climbers. Give me a couple more of those tuck, reach, reach. Mountain climbers, we're gonna be bringing just our knees high into our chest, okay? Nothing super fancy about these mountain climbers today. We're switching in just about five seconds. Hands under your shoulders, and you're just gonna pump, pump, pump. Here we go, switch. All right, here we go, 60 seconds, mountain climbers. If you're watching this when it comes out, happy Saturday again. We have our workouts today. Most certainly all of them are sold out. So if you didn't get a ticket, you can use next time. If you did get a ticket and you're doing this before the workout, good for you. Glutton for punishment, I guess. Or just really into the fitness for the year. Again, knees high into the chest. This is your first time doing these workouts. Uh, total reps, it's not our concern. We're not trying to count total reps. Different workouts, different times, maybe that's what we're gonna do. But for this, we're just trying to get consistency. We're just trying to train our bodies to move consistently for nine minutes with as little or no rest. And the real important part of there is while we're doing that, we're keeping our core engaged, right? So we're keeping this nice and engaged and just not relaxed. We're switching in 10 seconds. We're going to some side plank reach through, side plank reach through. So I'm gonna be starting on my forearm. I'm gonna stack my feet, hands to the ceiling. Go ahead and switch, come down, reach for the wall behind you, and then come back up, okay? so. Fingers to the ceiling, fingers to the wall, fingers to the ceiling, fingers to the wall. Again, like I was saying with these other movements, 
you need to be moving and just not moving your body parts. So what I mean by this is, it's not arm up and down, okay? So it is arm up, and then I'm gonna try to touch my fingertips to the wall behind me, and then come back up, okay? Touch, and then come back up. Said differently, if someone's in front of you, or if I had a t-shirt on, you should be able to see what's on my back, okay? So you're really rotating, 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 and then coming back up, okay? You got about 20 more seconds, keep going with these side plank reasters, I'm gonna show you what's next. It's gonna be our arch ups. So, for this, you're gonna be getting down on your stomach. 10 more seconds, we're switching. Give me a couple more re reach throughs. And then for arch up, arms forward, arms back. Contract and hold, and relax. Get ready, here we go. Good, 60 seconds of these arch ups. All right, now one of the things I want you holding are these end ranges, your finished position. I don't want you just flopping up and down. Contract, hold, and relax. Contract, hold, and then relax. Every rep. I'm gonna say it again, it's not total reps. It's quality, this is a quality workout. I'm trying to build that endurance. Good. Very nice, brief pause at the top, and then come back down. Brief pause, and then down, good. Good, hang in there, you got 15 more seconds. Keep going, you should be able to give me three or five more of those. What do we got coming up next? Going back to the side plank reach series, good, you got it. So, side plank reach series back in five seconds, other sides coming up. Two, one, all right, here we go. Woo. Down, through, and then up, and then down, through, and then up, good, okay. We get through this, you're two thirds of the way there. Two thirds of the way there. Look at this, Saturday is starting off amazing. Got a few more of these movements. Whew, okay. Reach, touch the wall behind you, touch the ceiling. Touch the wall behind you, touch the ceiling. Good, 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go here. All right, so hang in there. We got 20 more seconds. I'm gonna hang out with you for about five, and then I'll show you what's coming up next, okay? Less than 15 seconds, so, all right. Six movements done, last three coming up. Pike reach is gonna be next, so. Fingers, sorry, legs straight, toes to the ceiling. Drag your fingers up to your toes. Here we go, we're going. So, this is a movement. Let's try counting, and I'll explain in a second. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Resting. Three, two, one. Right back to it. Eleven, uh, uh, <laughs> nine. I can't count. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Resting. Three, two, one. And then right back to it. Good. Keep going on those. This is a movement that I want you to take away. If you do need to rest, I want you to manage your rest. Count down from three seconds, count down from five seconds. What I don't want you doing is just huffing and puffing and trying to catch your breath because what's gonna happen is you're gonna waste way more time than you actually need to catch your breath. We're switching in five seconds. You're gonna butterfly your feet. Baby crunches here, butterfly crunches. Reach, pause, relax, switch. Reach, pause, relax, good. Feet are together, reaching forward. Just enough to get that core engaged and then come back down, reach, hold, and down. Good, all right, here we go, last two minutes coming up. Not even, you're just over 90 seconds, and we're gonna be done, good. So we'll get through the station, where are we gonna finish? You know what it is? What is it? She's sleeping, it's a tuck hollow hold. One of my favorites right now to finish on. So we're gonna be finishing on that, that nice tuck hollow hold, this is a, dyna a dynamic station. Dynamic, we're moving. So our tuck hollow hold is gonna be a static station. We're gonna be holding one position. Both of those ways to train have a lot of value, which is why adding them in or mixing them in can be really helpful in your routine. Okay, 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna be going into that tuck hollow hold. Give me a couple more. Five seconds, we're switching. Tuck hollow hold, three, two, one. Here we go. All right, this is it. Last 60 seconds. Just you, me, and sleeping Brooklyn. So you and me right now, all right? Does not matter how you start this workout. Doesn't matter. It's 
It's over, that's in the past. How do you finish it? You got 45 seconds, not even. Less than 45 seconds. So, I want you to stay in this position as long as you can. If you need to scale it, you can bring one knee in. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Good, that gives you the idea how you can be alternating it. Otherwise though, straight legs, lower back is flat, core is nice and engaged. You're breathing, don't hold your breath, can't hold your breath for nine minutes. 15 seconds, we're gonna be done. Woo, okay, 10 seconds. Hang in there. Don't you come out before I do. And I'm not coming out to the beat. We got coming out in three, two, one. Woo, oh, What's up, come on. You did it. You did it. Mm. Hi, Brooklyn. All right, you did it too. You did it too. Congratulations, you made it to the end. If you liked it, you got this far, you must have liked the video, right? Do me a favor, do us a favor, and hit that like button. Thank you. We have new workouts every Wednesday and every Saturday, so when you hit that subscribe button and you turn on the notification, you're gonna get notified, and it really helps us out. We're on a road to, sorry about that, we're on a road to a thou, uh, 5,000 subscribers, and we should try to get there in a couple months, so that subscribe really helps us out a lot. All right, it's Saturday, it's time for you to get out of here. Um, my name is Coach Todd, this is Brooklyn. Hopefully we see you sometime soon, either at a uh, workout in person or online. And until then, take care. Hi. Hi. Hi, girl.